welcome back. I'm very sick Josh, but hey ho, I can't give up. I've only got this episode to do and then we're back with it. This is episode number, where is it, A9 of 1986. As you can see, weekly has been ended um, after this week's episodes. I know it's getting good, but I've just given up with it. But, you know, um, I haven't really changed the backdrop. Oops. Should we do that quickly, guys? Shall I change the backdrop? That will give you a clue to what series is, what the new weekly series is. Mm, there's a clue. Let's get the WrestleMania one up. And that WrestleMania 3, thank you. There's a reason we're now building up towards Andre versus Brett, um, Hulk Hogan. I like it what happened in real life. Do, 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 do. Normally, if we up here, so we go. But yeah, guys, um, the new weekly series has been recorded and edited, and the first episode is quite shit while I'm learning it. But there it is, it's raw, it's raw, it's 1977, just after the Montreal screw job. But here we go, we're now a very quick do episode of WS Superstars, an 82B to open up the nights, jeans in the back with Bobby Heenan and Andre the Giant. 14,625 people at the MN Williams Arena tonight. Uh, mean Gene's improving in acting and perform skills. Andre came out looking excellent. Um, so Bobby Heenan is about to go to Gene. With me, Andre the Giant, the manager Bobby Heat, and his manager Bobby Heenan. Heenan, here's playing why this happened. Why the beloved Giants turned on Hogan and the fans. And we goes, listen up, Mean Gene. The reason is quite simple. He's had enough of the fans and Hogan. Where's his cuddly toys, shirts, and whatever else Hulk Hogan's got? You see, everybody wants Hulk Hogan, but you all forgot about Andre Dryden. So rest many free Hulk Hogan will meet Andre the Dryden, because we know he's going to stay champion until then. And we'll see a new Andre in the main event tonight, an 82B. Now, I would like to say that this episode is going to be shorter than most, because I've only got um, Man Square Gardens this month. Um, there's no other events going on, so it's just Man Square Gardens this month, which makes my life a lot easier, because I should be able to get this done quite quickly. In a decent match, the Rockers defeated the Rogue Brothers in 801 when Michaels defeated Raymond Rowe by the Rockers Shock. Jack Rue 58, Raymond Rue 53, Marty Jannetty 59, Shawn Michaels 62, Michaels in performance 63C. In a good match, Honky Tonk Man defeated Bruce Beefcake in 755 by Pin the Armageddon. Beefcake 66, Honky Tonk Man 65, no work around 73 B minus. And then Ken and Akasaki and Jim Cornette's band goes, you see, this guy. Is a legend throughout the United Kingdom. It's because of me we have him here in the WWF. It is the same for all four of my face and men. We stand here as one because I was meant to put on screen, I forgot. Anybody want to face, can I say, come and bring on, you're going down. Come and face any of my face and men, you will lose. 660 plus, thank you, Cornette. In the next section match, Biddy Graham defeated Harley Race in 826 by Pinfall. Graham 80, Harley Race 79, no work permits. Um, Dusty Rhodes vs Andre the Giant tonight, it's 76B minus. In the next match, Andre the Giant defeat Dusty Rhodes in 1437 by Pinfall, illegally using the ropes for leverage. Dusty Rhodes 86, Andre the Giant 98, no recruit 76B minus. Andre the Giant starting his victory in the ring when Hulk Hogan runs in and attacks him, beating Andre the Giant down to the mat. There you go, my friends, we'll see you again next week for another edition of WWF Superstars. Once we know, 76B minus, increased our popularity in 20 regions. So I'll see you guys live next week for another edition of WWF Superstars of Wrestling. I'm high on drugs, I feel like shit, but 13,000 people at the Charleston Civic Centre makes me very happy. Um, Hulk Hogan the band, he goes, Hulk Hogan, with Andre Dryden between his back on you, your match will play inside a steel cage tonight. What is on your mind? And Hulk goes, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. It is champion versus champion Jack, and I'm going out there, no tires on the line, brother, but well, I'm going to win. Now Andre the Giant... You want my world title, do you, brother? Well, remember, who sat with you when you was injured, brother? It was me, Jack. Now, if you want to join Bobby Heenan, that's fine. But what you got to, what you, but what you're going to do when Hulk Hogan and his Hulkamaniacs go wild on you, brother? 87B, typical Hulk Hogan promo. Jack and brother said a few times. In the battle, great wrestling, a decent match of crowd that Yokozuna defeated Stan Hansen in 7:58 by pinfall. Um, Stan Hansen and Yokozuna have great chemistry. Stan Hansen 79, Yokozuna 70. Oh, at Madison Square Garden, Stan Hansen has ordered that he gets a rematch. He didn't, but... You know, Yokozuna. We're building you up. He's going to be a star. 76 feet minus. Can't complain with that. 66 plus in a decent match. The Monsters defeat the Blade Runners in... When Vader defeat Ultimate Warrior by Phil the Power Bomb. Ultimate Warrior's weak link. Uh, Ultimate Warrior 48, Sting 66, um, Vader 66, and The Undertaker 61. No work in room 66 plus. Then we see him with Jim Cornette and he gets 76B minus. 
and it didn't work out because it's edited this um, obviously I didn't do it right or it's trying to work it out as a thing there we go did you see that Gene these four men are some of the most feared in WWF in two weeks at Madison Square Gardens I'm going to give any opponent one opportunity to beat my fierce men and I'll give them $50,000 if they can do it just turn up put your name down and I'll prove my point now Live at Man Square Gardens, the people who have put their name down for this have been uh, confirmed. Now, of course, in real life, you won't know this until you watch the movie. But Kenan Nakasaki will be in action. He will be defending the title against none other than Rick Rude. Rick Rude believes that he can defeat Kenan Nakasaki. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I am getting there slowly. Um, what was he doing? do 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 Mankind is going to be in action. Barry Dawson's put his name down to face Mankind. That's going to be happening. And then, of course, I know that I'm not doing pre-show and stuff on the shows, but I'm hoping that will make more money if I lose less people. Um, of course it won't, because I've got everyone written to do it. Does. So the other people who have put their names down out of the tag team division are the Road Warriors. The Road Warriors do believe that they can beat the Monsters. There you go. So there you go, that's a nice looking pay-per-view card, there'll be a lot more added to it. 76 B minus. Um in fact I'll add I'll add two of them to the other match which will be happening. Um Andre the Giant, who has recently turned heel, would be tagging with Randy Savage, take on the team of Hulk Hogan and Roddy Piper. That'll be happening live on Amanda Square Guns. 76 B minus can't complain. In the next session match, Ricky Steamboat defeated Ted DiBiossi in 8-11 by Pills of Flying Karate Chop. Uh, Ricky Steamboat 83, Ted DiBiossi 86, and no work on post, 76 B minus. Uh, video plays have not been main event tonight as Hulk Hogan takes on Ric Flair inside the steel cage. In an unbelievable match, Ric Flair defeated Hulk Hogan in 1945 by submission on the figure four leg lock after interference of Andre the Giant. Ric Flair 95, Hulk Hogan 100. So Bobby Heenan's probably like, hee I told you he'd come, ha ha ha. AAB plus and then our main event of um, or our semi main I don't know if it's going to be the top match but Billy Graham will be getting a shot at that Rick title which currently is held by a Rick Flair himself the WWF Championship will be on the line that's Billy Graham superstar Billy Graham takes on Rick Flair it's 77B to end the night we're going to end the show with an 84B plus increased our popularity in 43 regions I'll see you guys live next week for another edition of WWF Superstars of Wrestling Wrestling waits for no man. Tonight's WWF Superstars of Wrestling live. And then we're going to have the horseman in the back before an 84B and it's Rick Flair. And he goes, whoa! The WWF has given me this beautiful bout. Now I'm, so now I've got the WWF champion for the AWA. American World... Is it AWA or WA? I don't know. Whatever it champions it. The AWA have been taken over. And over the past week I've defended this title three times. Now Billy Graham tomorrow night live at Matt Square Arts. I'm going to give you an opportunity to get the AWA World title. But you're not going to win this title until... To win this title. This is my title until the day I die. Woo, 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 woo! A4B+. In next session, match, Jake Roberts defeated Trudy Blanchard in 629 by Pinfall. Roberts 81, Blanchard 74. 77B. In a battle of wrestling, decent match with crowd. Arlington, Ollie Anderson defeated Blade Runner 643. And Ollie Anderson defeated Sting by Pinfall. Uh, Old Moy 48, um, Sting 68, Oli Anderson 64, Arn 86, the Old Moy in Rumble, 76 B minus. <sighs> and Rick Rude's in the band, he goes, This Sunday night, Jim Connor is going to be out of pocket when us four defeat all four of his members of the Fearsome Men. He's going li down live tomorrow night, and you won't want to miss it. Because this gets aired on a Saturday, but it's taped on a Friday. It's on C. In the next session match, Hulk Hogan defeated Greg Hatt Valentine, 737 by people the Axe Bomber, Greg Valentine, 72, Hogan, 99, no work bonus, 76 B minus. In the next session match, Roddy Piper defeated Nikila Volokov, who's come back to us after being fired and then going to AWA, it's now Brack. Combat gimmick, blow average, Roddy Piper, 93, Nikila Volokov is 63, he's improved the rumble and performance, 76 B minus. Jimmy Snooker also returns. And in next session match, Rick Flair defeats Jimmy Snooker for, in 1949 by submission of figure four leg lock. He makes fence number four of his AWA World Heavyweight title. Snooker Wildman gimmick, very good. Um, good on Monsoon, he's probably in pretty good chemistry when team 
Putting the action together. Snooker 67, Ric Flair 96, nowhere from 77B. We're going to end the show there with a 21 with a 77B increasing our popularity in 21 regions. And I'll see you live for the Madison Square Gardens this Sunday night. So here we go. This is the time for everybody who works for me and gets paid at the end of the month to wrestle. Because there's 20,000 people at Madison Square Gardens sold out. And in the future, Madison Square Beat Masahiro Chono to defeat Piff Row Jr. in 7.34 by Pinfall. Piff Row Jr. 28, Masahiro Chono 58. No work improvements, 51D+. Plus. I'm just going to quickly jump over here. Shot Ahmed Johnson up. In a bad, very good wrestling and decent national crowd, the Monsters defeated the Road Warriors in 14-12, and the Unstated defeated the Road Warrior. Road... Sh shut up! Um, defeat Road Warrior Animal back into the Tombstone. Hawk, um, 79, Animal, 71. Vader 68, Undertaker 62, Vader in performance, 79B. So the Road Warriors have been defeated by the monsters. Or the fearsome men. And then in a decent match, Mankind defeat Barry Dawson, 957 by Pinball the Pile Driver. Barry Dawson, 63, Mankind, 60, 68C. Plus. Another win for the fearsome men. In a superb match, Rick Martel, Jim Duggan, Ricky Steamboat, Jimmy Snooker, and Jake Roberts defeat Arn Anson, Harley Race, Truly Banshee, Bruce Beefcake, and Larry Jerry Larry Lawler. Jerry Lawler in 1506 when Jimmy Snooker defeated Bruce Beefcake by pinning the supervised splash. 82B. Can't complain with that match. Uh, Jake Roberts 84, Jimmy Snooker 74, Ricky Steamboat 84, Duggan 72. Rick Martel 62, Jerry Lawler 72, Beefcake 64, Blanchard 75, Harley Race 76, and Arn 74. Blanchard and Ricky, Bo um, Blanchard and performance of Ricky Steamboat in Rumble in 82B. Sorry if I'm pausing, that's because I've got a very, I'm still suffering. This well, I'm saying that we called the last part, and I'm still ill. Sadly, you can't get better within a matter of two minutes. Wish you could. In about that great, great wrestling and decent after card, Stone Slaughter defeat and the Rockers defeat the Heart Foundation, Brett, Jim, and Owen in 1442 when Sean Marks defeated Owen Hart by Pinball the Sweet Chin Music. Turn to Wing Whip, Brett Hart with 10 shots of outs. Owen Hart 64, Jim Dean 69, Brett 83, Slaughter 73, Jim 61, Michael 64, Owen in Rumble 76B minus. In a bad, great wrestling and a decent reaction to the crowd, Tito Santana defeated Mr. Perfect in 10-10 by Pinball. Mr. Perfect 71, Tito Santana 69, and Tito in performance 77B. In a bad, bad, great wrestling and a decent reaction to the crowd, the Rock on the to feed the Bulldogs in 9-44 and Ricky Morton to beat Dave Boy Smith by Pinball the double drop kick. Robert Gibson 65, Ricky Morton 62, Dynamite 78, Dave Boy 81, Noah Prince 80B. In a bad, bad, great wrestling and decent match of card, Kenan Akasaki defeated Rick Rude in 1515 by Pinball and Kamazaki Crash. Kenan Akasaki makes defense number two of his WF Unicorn and Toll. Rick Rude 66, Kenan Akasaki 74, no work in 76B minus. So all of the fearsome men win here tonight. In a decent match, Bad News Allen, Nikita Koloff, and Stephen Regal defeat Shane Dawes, Great Moon, and Archangel 8 of 5 when Regal defeated the Great Moon by Pinball the Exploded Suplex. 69C plus, Angel 48, Moon 63, Douglas 50.
Welcome back, WWF Superstars Wrestling. I know it's going to be a shorter episode than normal, but I'm not well. Um, and it's going to make it easier for me to record. So I don't like to sound like a rabbit. And also, I just want to get these done, so because at the weekend I can sit down on them down a bit better and just lock them up. But if I can get this done, then I'm there, really. I hope you're all well. So Bobby Heenan's in the back um, with Andre, and he goes... Two weeks ago on Superstars, Hulk Hogan lied to you and said he was in hospital with Andre. He went one time for five minutes before he was gone again. You see, Hogan, you let fame go to your head and you forgot who made you a star. Andre the Giant. These fans are only cheering you because of all the medicine, all the merchandise you're pushing on TV interviews. And it makes me, me and Andre sick. And tonight, the cage is going up and Roddy's going to face Andre inside the seal cage. Looking through his A6B. Plus, I don't know why I've got obsession. In about good wrestling, the decent crowd, the Bulldogs to be the Blade Runners. Um, in 804, and Dynamite Kid to feed Sting by putting the power lifting clean headbutt. David Boy seen off his game. Ultimate Warrior 51, Sting at 66, Dynamite Kid 80, David Boy 75. No work come from 77B. In about good wrestling and um, great wrestling and good heat, um, Quest by Mar defeated Jerry Lawler in 719 by putting the Dragon Suplex. No experience, Benoit, 65, Lawler, 80. <clears throat> Jim Cornette's in the back and he goes, last week, so last weekend at Man Square, I'm, nobody got my money. Oh dear. Well, tonight they want to join forces and tag together, together, fine. Because once again, my fearsome men will win, like always. 77B. In about a good wrestling and international from the crowd, Barry Dawson, Rick Rude and Road Warriors to be the fearsome men. Uh, in 803, Mankind intentionally got counted out by fine Barry Dawson, Rick Reed 68, Barry Dawson 60, Road Warrior Hawk 72, Animal 64, Mankind 56, Vader 72, The Undertaker 63, and Kendo 74, Mankind and Rumble and Undertaker and Performance 74B. In an extra short match, Tony Russell defeated Billy Graham in 438 by pinfall while using the ricks for leverage, Billy Graham 81, Tony Russell 85. Uh, BRC in Technol, 76B minus. Andre Giant versus Roddy Piper. Um, Hulk Hogan is on commentary for this match. But in a bow of sensation of wrestling and fantastic, Andre the Giant defeated Roddy Piper in 1933 by people of the body stamp. Piper 93, Andre is 7. It is a cage match. There you go. 85B plus. We're in the show there with an 82B, and I'll see you guys live in the next episode. What number will that be? Let's have a look. Let's go into captures a minute. Um, 1986, episode 9, episode... So I'll see you next week in episode 10. Mm, 10 episodes. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm sorry if these are shorter, but I can't record much longer videos, otherwise I'll end up killing myself. But I might try in a bit. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you again real soon.